guys are all coming up for air. That's so crazy looking, just little mouths popping up. Welcome to August 2020, everyone. This is officially my least favorite month of the year. Now, it might look nice, but every August, some way, shape or form, in some way, shape or form, the environment, the weather, nature, uh, personal stuff, something always goes terribly wrong. And this year, it's, uh, well, it's not just now August. We're many days in August, and this is my about seventh attempt at making the first video of the month. And uh, as you can see, it's bone dry. Uh, I'm out here at this particular rock cut because it's sprinkled a little bit here in the wee hours of the morning. It is looking like the monsoons uh, have came and they have gone for the time being. We uh, Actually, those are dragonflies. That's a good sign. We've got dragonflies flying around. It means there's a little bit of moisture around. But uh, yeah, it's been overwhelmingly and depressingly dry for the past week and a half, basically, since I left for Arizona. They got some rain while we were in Arizona. And uh, since we've came back, it's just been depressingly dry. So hopefully I'll be able to scrape together a couple of things for at least one video before I have to leave. I am calling my time here in West Texas a little bit early in interest of making videos and getting them actually cranked out to you guys. And uh, additionally, I don't want to miss a few of the, uh, the things that happened in the month of August back in Georgia, uh, such as timber rattlesnakes giving birth and uh, things of that nature. There's a couple of things that I really want to see out there this year. But anyways, I'm going to cut this intro here. And uh, if I don't see anything tonight, I will see you guys the first productive night of the month, which might never even happen. But uh, at this rate, there's no way it'll be that bad. But um, either way, hopefully tonight will be decent. And I will be seeing you guys with the first snake here in a little bit. But if not, I will see you guys on the next productive night. All right, guys, so as predicted, last night sucked. We actually got a complete goose egg, didn't see a single snake. So it's the next night now. We've made a serious strategical reassessment, traveled about three hours to an area that has been getting rain and is uh, also unfortunately notoriously difficult to find Alterna or really anything, but it has the best weather right now, so we're here. Well, guys, it is about 11 o'clock, and Stephen and I just stumbled across our first snake in this stubborn mountain range. This is a little Smith's black-headed snake. Uh, fairly common throughout West Texas, but uh, we actually are pretty excited to see this guy, given how the night's gone so far and uh, how notoriously difficult this area can be to herp. So anyways, we're just going to leave this guy to his business and keep on hiking. Hopefully, there will be a couple more snakes in store for us tonight. Um, at this rate, we're averaging about a snake every hour and 45 minutes, so... Maybe we'll have at least one more in store for us tonight on the cuts, and then we have a pretty long road cruise back home, so we'll see. Well, this is pretty involved. She's eating while uh, a little male tries to court her, and uh, they're dangling upside down from a tree. Mantises are weird. Well, there's a bunch that are already metamorphed, too. Yep, I didn't even notice. Well... We found a bunch of herps. They might mostly be tadpoles, but these are little red spotted toad poles. And uh, they're just getting to the point where they're about big enough to come out of the water. Look at all these guys huddled in there to conserve moisture, I guess, until they've uh, completely absorbed their tails and can start traipsing through the landscape. Look at those guys. <laughs> so this puddle over here doesn't have any tadpoles. It does have some horsehair worms, which are gross insect parasites. There's one right here wiggling around. But walk right over here, you will see this puddle that we were just looking at. It's absolutely loaded with Little metamorph, red spotted toads. I'm guessing that's what those are. They don't look like they could really be anything else. These guys are all coming up for air. That's so crazy looking, just little mouths popping up.
right, everyone, we were on our way back to Alpine, got a long drive ahead of us. We've been cruising for about 45 minutes and we came across a snake. Check this guy out. This is a newborn Mojave rattlesnake. This is the first neonate uh, grassland rattlesnake, at least, we've seen so far this year. We got a black tail, which was the first baby rattlesnake of the year, but normally these guys are absolutely littering the roads this time of year to the point where it's not uncommon to see 10 to 15 on any given drive. Anyways, over the next two weeks, I'm sure these guys are just going to become more and more common. Uh, so I'm just gonna escort this little guy off the road. Good looking little rattlesnake for sure. Um, but we're starting to see more before I have to leave. So I'm just gonna scoot this guy off the road and we're gonna keep on moving. Well, there we go. Another baby rattlesnake, this time a little Aatrox. This is a newborn Western Diamondback rattlesnake. Uh, the other species that tends to litter the road this time of year, once the babies drop and start to disperse. But I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with that last one and escort this guy off the road and keep cruising. Seems like stuff's out in at least half decent numbers tonight. So we still got a good bit of driving to go before we get back to Alpine and we're gonna take the scenic route. So hopefully we go through some better habitat. Next snake of the night is a real big baby Mojave rattlesnake. This guy looks quite different from that last one. He's a more yellowish coloration. Really healthy for a little newborn rattlesnake though. But Mojave number two for the night. We're gonna move him off the road and keep driving. And that evens out the score. A little baby Western Diamondback. Superficially, these guys are pretty similar to Mojave's, but their blotching is different. And they've got some more subtle differences on their face and tail. But little Aatrox, second Western Diamondback of the night. I'm gonna show you just how small these guys are. Here he is next to my boot, and this is actually a pretty big one. He's probably been around for a couple weeks. What is up, guys? It is the next night, and since last night actually worked out kind of well, we decided to do the part of last night that worked out well, which was cruising the grasslands. And we have started off the night with something we have yet to see alive this year, a really nice looking prairie rattlesnake with a partially striped neck which is really interesting and a nice sized rattle too this is a pretty old snake but it's kind of small it seems like a lot of the viridis out here stay relatively small but probably the hardest of the uh the reasonable rattlesnakes actually to see in west texas um they kind of be they're a little finicky and only live in certain areas so you have to know where they're at but uh anyways pretty good find i'm gonna get some photos of them and we're gonna keep on cruising all right, guys, we moved this guy off the road and we're photographing him. These are a particularly jumpy rattlesnake species, so we're going to limit our time messing with this guy. But it's probably the only one we'll see this summer, so I want to get some photos. But a uh, pretty good way to start the night, if you ask me. All right, guys, here's our next snake of the night, a floppy little newly hatched long-nosed snake. Really tiny little guy. I didn't even see it. Steven spotted him. But that is our second snake of the night. It seems like stuff is yet again out, at least in semi-decent numbers. So we've seen plenty of these guys this year, so we're just gonna escort this guy off the road and keep cruising. All right, guys, here's our next snake of the night. We actually saw a big Aatrox, but I didn't get any footage of it, but he's weird. Anyways, really tiny baby Western Diamondback is our next snake of the night. That makes for two Aatrox tonight. Oh my God, bugs. And uh, pra one prairie rattlesnake and a long nose. So, anyways, we're making a little bit of a strategical reassessment. We're gonna go hit a different area, a little higher up in the mountains, and see if it got wet tonight. So, we're gonna move this guy off the road and keep moving. We found another baby rattlesnake, and this one is different. It's our first baby scoot of the night, and look at that added. Wow, brother, brother, brother. Relax, we just want to observe you and then move you off the road. This is our first Mojave rattlesnake of the night, surprisingly. These guys are generally probably the single most common snake in this area, road cruising. So anyways, 
first baby Mojave of the night might end up being the last. We're kind of getting out of habitat for these guys as we go up in elevation into the mountains, but we'll see. Anyways. Are we gonna find every species of rattlesnake in West Texas tonight? Because there's the blacktail. Big, beautiful, ornate blacktail is our next snake of the night. He's flicking his tongue. He's not very happy with us. So we are just gonna escort this guy off the road. We are one snake away from finding every crotalus species in West Texas. Just need a rock rattlesnake. And I think if we actually try to do that, we can probably make it happen. Oh, he grump. Alrighty, let's get you off the road and keep cruising. All right, guys, so the last crotalus species in West Texas we need for the night is rock rattlesnakes. So we're gonna shine around a little bit. I guess make our end goal for the night to see one of those guys so that we can at least say we've seen every crotalus in West Texas tonight. All right, everyone. Well, we did not get our Lepidus last night to round out the rattlesnakes of West Texas, unfortunately. But we are out here the next day. We're doing some hiking this afternoon. And uh, we're here with Chris Jenkins from the Orient Society and Nat Turner. And we are hopefully going to turn up Lepidus tonight. I know it won't be all five in a night, but maybe we can get the other four again. Who knows? But it has rained. There's rain in the area. Nice big storm clouds. So hopefully we'll at least be able to finish off this video with some interesting stuff tonight. But uh, I'll keep you guys posted. All right, guys, we've been at it for a while. Not much produced hiking, but we just got back on the road and started heading towards the cut we wanted to shine tonight. And first snake of the night, Big H rocks. This guy's got a beautiful, super contrasty tail. You see that really nice black and white, but Otherwise, pretty typical looking snake. We're just gonna make sure he gets way off the road and we're gonna head to the cut. We're gonna shine. These guys really wanna see a rock rattlesnake, so hopefully we make that happen tonight. Here you go, Chris. I know. You die happy. There we go. Our first snake on a cut of the night. Exactly what we wanted to see. Oh, grumpy little rock rattlesnake. First one of these guys we've seen in a minute, actually. Well, it's already a good night. We're gonna get a couple quick shots of this guy. This is a lifer for both of these guys. And uh, maybe we'll see another one. All right, guys, that did not take too long. There's still a little bit of light in the sky and we managed to get our first snake on a cut of the night. So I think that's probably a pretty good sign, but uh, you never know. So we're gonna get back to it and see if we can turn up another one. All right, guys, there we go. Rock rattlesnake number two. Oh, he's got that good orange stripe, dude. Oh my goodness. It's a girl. Yeah, it's a girl. Look at that orange stripe. That's ridiculous, dude. It's the best little tiny patch of orange I've ever seen on the neck of a lepidus. And right below that rock rattlesnake, there is a canyon tree frog hanging out. What's up, buddy? Sharp looking tree frog. Probably just was wedged back in that crack and decided he wanted to come out and look for bugs. But anyways, stripe, dude. That's insane. Really cool up top. Well, snake number two on the cut for the night, and another little lepidus, this time a little female with an incredible little nuchal stripe. That spot is so vibrant. Anyways, stuff is definitely out, so we're going to keep at it. All right, guys, 1030 update. Uh, we moved cuts. We did that cut. We got the leps on a couple times and did not see anything else after the second rock rattlesnake, which uh, you can't really complain. Two rock rattlesnakes isn't bad. But uh, it's still pretty early in the night, so we still have a good amount of time to try to turn up some more stuff. We're going to bounce around a little bit now and uh, hopefully be able to connect with some more snakes, but I'll keep you guys posted. feels pretty good out here. It rained a little bit, but not too much, so it's nice and warm, but it's a little bit moist, so hopefully the snakes will like it. Oh, cold flip. Well, that's kind of interesting. I was not expecting to see this guy. I mean, I guess it isn't too surprising that he's under there since it's nighttime, but we are pretty high in elevation for this species. Uh, normally, whip snakes and racers are more common up here. So pretty cool to see. This is the first western coach whip we've seen in a minute. Um, they haven't been as prevalent this summer as they usually are, even though the weather's been fairly good for them. They like it hot. But anyways, nice little interesting find to uh, kind of shake it up tonight. Not something we were expecting. But anyways, we're going to photograph this guy and put him back under his piece of cover. Hey, there we go. 
These guys have been suspiciously absent recently. A little black tail hanging out right here, coiled up in ambush. Anyways, I'm gonna leave this guy here because I think these other guys might want to see him. So we're gonna hope he doesn't go anywhere. And uh, in the event he does, this will be the last look you get at him, but I might be showing this guy to you in a minute, so. They don't like each other, Steven. No. They're making hissing noises at each other. Whoa, dude. They're scrapping. Dude. Look at them. Let that man back on the other side of the wall. What a weird interaction. That one just is like, okay, these guys are clearly the bigger problem here. Can you leave me alone and let me come under the wall? Man, he really does not want him to come under the wall. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. Right. I'm scared to go on this side, but I kind of want to see what the, uh... Where's that, where's the hole even at? Oh, it's tiny. Oh, there's a skunk butt though. Huh? Huh? Brother. Brother, I don't want trouble. I just want to see how cute you are. And I want to see you scrap with your friend. Brother. Oh! Oh, it's awesome. All right, guys, we got back to the car and we met Nat and Chris here in the middle. We parked in the middle of this cut and one group went one way and one group went the other. And they found this little guy. This is a little chihuahua and hook-nosed snake. We've actually seen a good number of these this year, but I think this is only the second one I have seen from this particular spot. Uh, pretty high in elevation here, like I said, with the coach whip. So kind of weird to see this guy here. Um, I didn't know that they were particularly common here. So pretty good find. You can see he's flicking his long tongue, but good looking little hook-nosed. We've seen plenty of these guys this year, so we're just gonna get a couple quick shots and let him go.